South Park The Stick of Truth came out in 2014. Holy shit, that game's, that game's old. And it is without a doubt one of the funniest video games ever. And I spent a good amount of time in this game. But I am still missing a few achievements in this game. Ten, to be precise. So, in today, I'm going to go back and complete South Park The Stick of Truth. Yet, the rest of the achievements I am missing. Now, I don't think it's fair I explain the story. We're going to let Cartman explain the story. Off you go, my good sir. Deep in the lands of Zaran, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Now, time to create a character. It's a basic character customization, like all games have. Pretty basic, not the worst, not the worst, not the, you know, whatever I said. <laughs> Pretty simple, we got so much. We can even make it look like... <laughs> look like our character's in an abusive home! <laughs> okay, so our character's in an abusive household. Now we wake up, and our family... They even look like abusers, don't they? I mean, look at them. Now... Our first goal is to go find some friends. But if we stay long enough, our dad will kick us out of the house. It wasn't a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Now we meet our first friend, Butters, by saving him from bad guys. That way I banish you first. Haha, <laughs> you can't hold out much longer. Help, somebody, I can't hold out much longer. Help, we should be friends. That's pretty much it. We meet the wizard. And after meeting the wizard, we get... Some more friends, like Scott Malcolmson, Craig. Now, now we talk to the Grand Wizard, who gives us our first achievement I'm missing. We must call ourselves Douchebag. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? I don't know how to spell Douchebag, so I'm legit looking up how to spell And we got achievement, acceptable. <laughs> that is the first achievement we'll be getting for a long time. Now we're just going to pick... A class. We're picking Jew because Jew is the best class. <laughs> now we go and learn how to fight. It's extremely basic RPG. Go around, make some friends, because friends are a collectible. Collectible? Yeah, that's correct. We need to get... Okay. We need to get a lot of friends. And the more friends we get, the better we become. The better we become? Yeah, let's keep going around, make new friends, do some, start some quests to get more friends. It's pretty weird. Just go around and make friends. That's, to an extent, the plot for, for a while, is making new friends. <laughs> Once we have finished all the first area, we got a few secret friends on lock, like Jesus, and all that good stuff. But after a bit, once we get all our allies together, we learn how to conjure magic! Or Dragon Shout. Pretty cool. And after I got more friends to make, got to fight the gingers. Which no one likes gingers, so it's okay to beat them up. Now that's just, it's completely fine to beat gingers off, because no one cares about them. And now what we need to get is allow Kenny to die a certain amount of times. I think. Yeah. Kenny died like ten times. Pretty simple. Eventually it unlocks us by beating Kenny, that would die. Oh! We shall now charge to our next location, which is to destroy the most dangerous creature of all. And keep an eye out for some I completely forgot. Chim Pokemon, which is the one main miss what I always miss at Chim Pokemon. But we'll get that later. One of my favorite as one of my favorite aspects about this game is that Jimmy has a bit of a stutter. Because of his disability. He has a stutter. And you can choose to skip or let him go through. With magical songs of enchantment. 
Magic, He'll get it out. Magic He'll songs get it out eventually. Me. Let him go. With magical songs Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. You got this. You got this, mate. Magical songs have enchanted me. Come on, friend. You got Mag- this. Magical songs have enchanted me. Magical songs have enchanted me. See, eventually he gets it on. And here we can go for another achievement. Make enemies shit themselves. It took me a while to figure that out. Follow up whatever it is, I don't know. But eventually get that. Go through. Kill more enemies. And day one is complete. And soon, day one is complete. We have to go home. Where we get abducted by aliens. Now, since I'm Australian... It's the Australian version. We don't get to see some of what happens. We get this. That's right. A koala. With tears in its eyes. Telling us we can't see what's going on because it's inappropriate. It's bullshit. Is that- the Koala saves from it, and we're in the alien ship. Which gives us probably the most powerful, one, a really powerful weapon. And a chimp Pokemon I always miss. Eventually we go through the ship, get the chimp Pokemon we need, and we advance, and we've completed day one. Of South Park, the stick of truth. Day two starts off the same. But this... We have a giant thing of Taco Bell. A Taco Bell. That's weird, but it's still we go on, make more friends, kill some people, get more friends, let Kenny die, because eventually that will pop his achievement. Gotta make friends and all that good stuff. Buy stuff, try to get more friends. The long run, it's just getting friends and Jim Pokemon, making friends, Jim Pokemon, repeat and repeat. That's practically all we do for this day. Same as the other one, actually. Same as, basically, same as everything. It's just going to point A to point B, getting friends. And Chim Pokemon. But always be careful, because I don't want to miss any Chim Pokemon. Now, the Nazi zombies are loose. There's a friend I miss later, but we'll get to that later with these Nazi zombies. We go and make more friends, get more Chim Pokemon, kill more gingers, because who cares about gingers, to be honest. And we get close to another tube where I must betray my friends. I choose to betray Kyle, because he's an achievement I need to betray Kyle. I've betrayed Cartman every time, but I've never betrayed Kyle. I always pick the team I pick is the one I betray. Don't know why, I just do. <gasps> but I've got to beat Kyle and I get another achievement. Yeah, I get another achievement. And that's the end of night three, which, if you take your time to go home, your parents will come after you and ground you. It's bullshit. And this bit here, you can get an achievement in. So I saved beforehand. I have multiple saves, so I can get achievements. I backtrack, get more achievements. It involves our friend, the Underpants Gnome. But I didn't get any achievement in, but closer to one. And I've got to skip a bit, because I'm about to fight our mum and dad while they're... <clears throat> Intimate, so I've got to skip the bit because you should take it down, which makes sense, but you know, you know, gotta skip some of it at least. Now that we got more friends, we gotta finish off. Have to come friends with the girls, which isn't hard, just do the same thing. Point A to point B, point A, point B, point A, point B. Get you in Pokemon, go to an abortion clinic, dress up as a pre princess. I mean, look at me, I'm gonna dress up as a pre pre princess, a slut, obviously, because you know. You gotta be a slut. <laughs> we go through all this shit and <laughs> get more chimp Pokemon, destroy more Nazi zombies, and destroy a giant Nazi fetus. Now we have to go get a passport by a pedophile to go to the amazing world of Canada. Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go.
Canada is probably my favorite area because it is just an RPG. I mean, look at it. Listen to the music. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Canada is just perfect in every aspect. Canada's only got... I don't think there's any true Pokemon here, but there's only a few friends and lots of weapons and clothing we've got to purchase, which we'll do later. So let's go for Canada, get all the friends I need, then we leave Canada, and the girls become our friends. Then we get ready for the final battle. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, God damn it! Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it! Seriously. I agree, Cartman. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare. Ready. I love how that's how the final battle starts is with Kevin fucking up that they're playing with this. Uh, the final battle is pretty simple, and we get our last missable achievement here. Achievement. Our last missable collectible, which is the character known as Shoe. The character known as Shoe. I should technically say, as you see, his name is Shoe. He's a chim Pokemon. He's only a last missable chim Pokemon. And you get another achievement here, which I didn't do, mainly because I couldn't figure it out, so you can't really figure it out, but we'll get that later. Ah. And just go through and be Clyde, and that's the game. I've got to be honest, it's not the best final fight, but it's South Park, so what do you expect? <laughs> Now, to get all the friends I'm missing, which is a few. So, let's go get some friends. Close to getting all friends, we do lose Al Gore, but that's okay. No one cares about Al Gore. And after eliminating Al Gore, we go get our final gym Pokemon, which should give us our final friend. Two achievements. That's one. And the second achievement didn't pop. Don't know why. But after doing a bit of research, there's a few friends I missed. So I'm like, okay. I missed one friend. So we'll have to go back. But that's okay. We'll get all the clothing now. Which brings me to back to Canada and a grind. No, um, I'm serious. A grind. We stay in Canada. I stay in Canada for hours. But I do eventually come back to destroy the bank manager because apparently he's useful for money. I didn't know that, but apparently he is. So we're using him for some quick cash. Selling everything to buy everything I'm missing. And once we do that, the achievement doesn't pop. And after going through everything, I noticed I missed one thing. Knight's outfit is two out of three. So I have to reload a previous save to get this. It sucks. But I reload where I thought was to get it. And that was incorrect. So I have to redo the final fight to get this achievement. And good thing, I have all my backup saves. As you can see, a lot of backup saves. After getting it, this time, I get everyone first, but you've already seen all the friends unlocked, so let's skip to the end. To get every friend, then we have to fight Clyde again. And this time, I mean it. We destroy Clyde and get our achievement. Now, the butterfly, the guys that killed us are two Cyclopses. If I remember correctly, they're the ones that you do destroy in Ike. Yeah, you do almost saving Ike. So once I deal with Ike, you see all the Cyclops stuff. We get my Knight's outfit. I get my Knight's outfit, which isn't too difficult. 
then we try for another achievement. Which I still don't know how to fully do, but that's okay. Figure that out later. <laughs> then with that, we have all the clothing. We beat the game. Go back to Canada to grind to eventually get us our final achievement. And this music in Canada, you have no idea how annoying it is. And I mean, you have no idea how annoying it is after a while. And Close Hall is unlocked. Which leaves only a few achievements left. Our missing friends and the fart achievement, which I think I did get. Here's one missing friend, Chris Donny. Then finally, funny enough, the friend I was missing this whole time is Stan's mother. But to get her, I need to purchase something. So I purchase them, gives me a friend, and I get more popular than John Lennon achievement. And with that, the sticker truth is complete. It is 100% completed. I think I'll stand by saying this game is good. It's a fun game. Good game to play. Ignore these other incomplete games. So see Lego Batman 2. I'm never going to go back and play that because it deleted my save getting corrupted. But that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. Like me to Facebook and Twitch. All linked in the description. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.